Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and what we have for you today is the OnePlus Concept One. Now, this is the first time that OnePlus is present at CES and what they've uh, brought today is a smartphone called the Concept One. This phone is a concept as of right now. It will not be available uh, for production uh, anytime soon. And OnePlus says that it is uh, working at figuring out how to make uh, this uh, product mass market. Now. Uh, the as you can see from the look the oneplus concept one has the iconic mclaren papaya orange leather finish at the back and the smartphone uses the exact same leather as the mclaren 720s the phone also has the stitching lines at the back just like you would find on the seats of uh, the mclaren car it has aluminum alloy framing on the sides now normally smartphones have oxidized aluminum this is the first time in the industry in the smartphone industry that a smartphone has pvd aluminum finish around the sides the unique thing about this smartphone is the back. Now, normally people are used to seeing the camera bumps or the camera modules at the back. And OnePlus says that, you know, the camera modules aren't necessarily exactly the prettiest thing to look at. So what they've done is they have implemented a specific technology to help hide the camera and the camera only comes into view when it is uh, needed for use. This is a purely an aesthetic thing. It is meant to give the phone a more complete finish without the bumps and the hassles of uh, the camera at the back. Now, the sunroof of the McLaren 720S was used as an example for this. And uh, that sunroof can let sunlight into the car as and when uh, needed. And it can become opaque when uh, you don't want to let more light into the car. The exact same technology has been used by OnePlus in the smartphone. OnePlus has worked for 18 months to come up with the Concept One. So OnePlus wanted to bring the electrochromic technology to smartphones. That's what uh, this uh, technology is called. Now, uh, the back of the smartphone, you can see that the camera only becomes visible when you switch on the camera app on the device. And it takes about 0.7 seconds for the electrochromic uh, finish to go from dark to transparent. And that's the amount of time it takes for the app uh, on the smartphone to launch and when you aren't using uh, the app you get this completely dark uh, finish so essentially your lens of the camera is not visible when the smartphone is uh, not in use and oneplus calls this the invisible uh, camera the use of the electrochromic glass is not only aesthetic but functional as well it gives the smartphone camera control over the nd filter so this unique glass that is used uh, helps with uh, light coming in and gives you the effect of control of the ND filter. You can go into the pro settings of the smartphone and uh, control the ND filter. So it's like a physical ND filter on the smartphone. And you can use this uh, while uh, clicking pictures. Now, electrochromic glass isn't new technology, but it is new to smartphones. Apart from the McLaren, it is found on bullet trains and even on the windows of Boeing airplanes. And OnePlus says it was uh, challenging to implement this existing technology uh, in the form factor of a smartphone. The electrochromic glass on the OnePlus Concept One is extremely thin, measuring a mere 0 0.35 mm. That is about the same thickness as a tempered glass on a smartphone. Now OnePlus says that a lot of time was spent testing the electrochromic glass over the camera to check that it doesn't affect the performance of the camera on the smartphone and the glass can achieve full transparency when the user needs to click a photo. Uh, like we said, it takes less than one second, 0.7 to be precise for the uh, camera app to come on and the same amount of time uh, for the electrochromic filter to go from black to completely transparent, giving you a seamless experience when you're using the device. Now, OnePlus says that a lot of testing is needed before it can bring this up to market and a lot of investigation is needed in terms of mass production. But yes, the glass at the back that is covering the camera is as durable as any other glass found on a smartphone. So that is not uh, something to worry about. So there you have it, guys. This was a quick look at uh, the Concept One smartphone from OnePlus. You can always let us know what you thought of this video in the comment section below. And for more from the world of technology, you can subscribe to our channel. We will catch you in another video. It's goodbye for now.